In today's video, I'll be going over the best drum moves for each ball handle rating. So if you guys have a 65 ball handle rating, a 70 ball handle rating, a 75, 80, or 85 ball handle rating, you guys have found the right video. I'm gonna get y'all boys right. And I'll also be giving you guys a beginner dribble tutorial and showing you guys how to activate each move. So you guys just know how to activate each move and just figure out how to do all the moves. But if you guys want more banger content like this, go ahead and drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button. We're on this road to 3,000 subscribers. Turn on post notifications if you're new. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, in order to show you guys the best dribble moves i'm gonna be going through each dribble move and just showing out which one is the best one for each category and now for your dribble style the best dribble styles i recommend hands down are either quick paul george steve nash or c gray if you guys do not have at least a 75 speed with ball i recommend just using c gray this is a really good one it doesn't have any requirements to it you can use it with any player that you have if you guys can't get quick paul george or steve nash go ahead and put on c gray this is a really good one and i really like it a lot for my bills that don't have a 75 speed with ball and as you guys can see they added the new kemba walker dribbling style but i I don't really like it that much it's really like a bootleg steve nash and i really don't recommend using kemba walker also you need an 80 speed with ball and be below six foot five so it's just too many requirements and it's not really that good so i really don't recommend using this one but if you guys can get quick dribble style on your build go ahead and use quick hands down this is really the best out of all of them out of paul george out of steve nash out of all of them and you can get it with most your builds a lot of builds in this game have a 75 speed with ball and are below six foot ten but if you guys want to change it up you guys can also use paul george or steve nash dribble style is really personal preference so you guys can choose what you want and now for your moving crossover if you have below a 70 ball handle the only moving crossover you can get is normal but you guys don't have to worry the normal crossover is still really good as you guys see it's still really fast so you still get a really fast moving crossover so go ahead and use normal if you have below a 70 ball handle now if you guys have a 70 ball handle or higher don't even worry about any of these other moving crossovers they're all not that good compared to lebron james for lebron james all you need is a 70 ball control or higher and a lot of dribbling builds have a 70 ball handling or higher so i recommend you just use lebron james as you guys can see you get this really fast moving crossover Crossover. and a lot of people don't even do moving crossovers so if you guys do do moving crossovers and have a 70 or higher ball handling just go ahead and use lebron james you get a really fast moving crossover and it's just the best one by far out of all of these and now for your moving behind the back if you guys have less than a 75 ball handle the only moving behind the back you can get is normal and a lot of people don't even do behind the backs i use behind the back sometimes not all the time but if you guys have below a 75 ball handle go ahead and just use the normal behind the back it's still it's still pretty decent in my opinion and now if you guys have a 75 or higher ball handling the best behind the back hands down is scotty pippen look at this fast behind the back you get you're literally flying around the court it just reminds me of the behind the backs from the past two k's and this is just really fast as you guys see on the screen it's just super fast it's really easy to do as well but if you guys want to switch it up you guys can get the Kawhi leonard behind the back but you guys will need an 80 ball handle rating for this and in my opinion it's just not worth it so even if you have an 80 ball handle i wouldn't even use this it is really fast but the faster one is scotty pippen and all these dribble moves you guys want the fastest dribble moves possible so that you're moving as fast as possible and the fastest moving behind the back will be scotty Pippen. And now for moving step back, if you guys have below a 70 ball handle rating, the only moving step back you can get is either basic or normal. But don't worry, not a lot of people do moving step back. This is just the move that people have on. And normal is actually not even that bad, so you guys can use that. And now if you guys have a 70 ball handle rating or higher, the best moving step back is Jimmy Butler. Hands down, don't even worry about these other ones besides Stephen Curry, which I'll go into further in a second. Jimmy Butler is a really good moving step back. As you guys can see, it gives you this fast step back from 2K20, and you can get a really good speed boost move out of it. And I use this on all my builds, no matter what build I have. As as long as it has a 70 ball handle rating i use this moving step back on all my builds so i'd go ahead and use this if you have a 70 or higher ball handle rating and as you guys can see right here for the new season 8 release they did add moving step back stephen curry and you do need a ball handle rating of 80 to get this but it's still really good i recommend using this if you guys don't like the jimmy butler moving step back but like i said the best one is jimmy butler but if you guys wanted to you guys can use this and now for your moving spin you wouldn't believe me when i say this but the best moving spin is basic you get the little spin back move from past 2ks and it's just really good it creates a lot of separation but if you guys don't want to use the basic moving spin, the best moving spin if you have a 70 ball handle rating is hands down Andrew Wiggins. You get a fast moving spin. Not a lot of people do moving spins when they dribble, but if you guys do do moving spins and you have a 70 ball handle rating, go ahead and use Andrew Wiggins. It's still really good. And now if you have a 75 ball handle rating or higher, the best moving spin hands down is Kevin Durant. Look at this fast spin that you guys get. It's really good and super fast. Like I said, a lot of people do not do moving spins, but if you do moving spins and have a 75 ball handle rating or higher and you want a fast moving spin, go ahead and use Kevin Durant. It's super fast fast it's really good and now for your moving hesitation if you guys have below a 70 ball handle go ahead and just put on your normal hesitation and now if you have a 70 ball handle rating the best moving hesitation is larry bird it gives you a fast hesitation as you guys see right here it does create a lot of space and i do recommend using this one if you guys have a 70 ball handle rating and now if you guys have a 75 ball handle rating or higher the best moving hesitation is zach levine this is a really good moving hesitation because you get two fast moving hesitation moves and they create a lot of separation you can probably shoot off these if you wanted to and with zach levine you can get a really fast speed boost out of 
of it when you guys do the moving hesitation. So if you guys have a 75 ball handle rating or higher, go ahead and use Zach Levine. And now for your signature size up, you guys want to pay very close attention to this move. This move will determine how fast your player moves left and right. And it's really one of the most important dribble moves. If you guys have a 65 ball handle rating, the best signature size up hands down is Giannis. Don't even worry about the other ones. You get a very fast side to side move. So I'd recommend using this if you have a 65 ball handle rating. And now if you guys have a 70 ball handle rating, you guys are in luck. This season, they added two new very good signature size up if you have a 70 ball handle rating. And those are John Morant or Jamal Murray. You guys can test this move out and choose which one is the best. What I found was John Morant was faster than Jamal Murray. But like I said, you guys can test this out on your own. But these are the two I recommend if you guys have a 70 ball handle rating. And now if you guys have a 75 ball handle rating, the best signature size up is Donovan Mitchell. It gives you a really fast side to side move. And some people even use this even if they have a higher than a 75 ball handle rating. Because this move is actually really good. They added this, I think, around season six or something like that. And it's still one of the best ones for a 75 ball handle rating. So I go ahead and throw on this one. Don't even worry about the other ones. Just go ahead and throw on this one if you guys have a 75 ball handle rating. And now if you guys have an 80 ball handle rating, you guys have a lot of good signature size ups to choose from. The three best are either Kobe Bryant, De'Aaron Fox, or Dwayne Wade. If I had to rank those three out of the best, I'd choose De'Aaron Fox at number one because you get a really good side to side move. It's really fast. You get a lot of really good combos with this move. So I'd recommend using this one if you guys have an 80 ball handle rating on the dot. If you guys can't get that 85 ball handle rating threshold. The next best one is Kobe Bryant because you do get the Kobe span from 2K20 as you guys can see right there. But it's not as effective. So I'd go ahead and use De'Aaron Fox if I have an 80 ball handle rating. So now if you guys have an 85 ball handle rating, you guys have a lot of good ones to choose from as well. And the best ones by far are either Derrick Rose, Steve Francis, Kemba Walker, or the two new ones, which are John Wall and Jay Williams. If I were to give you my top three out of those, my first one would be Derrick Rose. And this is probably the best one if you have an 85 ball handle rating. You guys get a really fast side to side move, a left right move, and you guys get a really good misdirection move. This is by far the best signature size up if you have an 85 ball handle. And then second would be Steve Francis. You get a really good left right with this as well. And it's really fast. As you guys see, you get a lot of good combos with it. You can dribble really fast with it. And if you're more of an ISO type build, I'd recommend using this over Derrick Rose. But if you guys are like your play shot builds and all that, you guys want to left right a lot and get some threes, you guys can go ahead and use Derrick Rose. But like I said, if you guys are ISO type build with an 85 ball handle rating, go ahead and use Steve Francis. It's really good. And then the third one, which is my personal favorite one they added this season, the best remove they added this season by far is Jay Williams. I'm going to show you guys on the screen right here. Just look how fast it is. Look how fast I'm moving with Jay Williams. It's really fast. Like I said, you get a fast left right movement. So like I said, I like this new move, Jay Williams, that they added. So if you guys have an 85 ball handle rating, I recommend using Jay Williams. And now for your signature combos, this drip move does not really matter a lot. So whatever you guys can get, I just throw on. It does not matter. As you guys see, they did add Stephen Curry. So if you guys can get Stephen Curry, which is a really good one that they added this season, I'd recommend getting this one. It's just like a 2K19 Riddler dribble type vibe. But like I said, this drip move does not really impact anything. So just pick whatever you can get. And now for your size of skate package, you guys want to pay attention here. This will determine how fast your player escapes from the dribble moves. And, and if you guys have below a 70 ball handle rating, the only size up you can get is normal. So put normal on. Now, if you guys have a 70 ball handle rating, don't even worry about all these other size of skate package. Just put on LeBron James because it gives you a good behind the back move. And you get that Allen Iverson step back from 2K20, that overpowered step back you guys see people doing in the park. Like I said, this is the best size of skate package for 70 ball handle rating, hands down. But go ahead and put on LeBron James if you get a 70 ball handle rating. And now if you guys have a 75 ball handle rating, the best size of skate package is Kevin Durant. You get a really fast pullback move and I use this move a lot. So go ahead and put on Kevin Durant. But if you guys don't like Kevin Durant and you guys do have a 75 ball handle rating, like I said, just go back to LeBron James because LeBron James gives you that little pop back move. But like I said, if you guys don't want to use LeBron James, the best size of skate package if you have a 75 ball handle rating is Kevin Durant. Now the best size of skate package if you guys have an 80 ball handle rating, you guys can choose out of three. You guys can either use Damian Lillard, Kawhi Leonard, or Trey Young. The best one out of these, in my opinion, is Trey Young. You get a really fast side to side move, a good hesitation move, and you get a crab move, but you do not get that overpowered step back. And Trey Young is more for your builds that are three hunting. They're trying to get threes every possession. So I'd use Trey Young if you guys are like a play shot type of build or something like that. But if you guys are ISO build, you guys can either use Kemba Walker or Damian Lillard. I like Damian Lillard more than Kemba Walker because you get the 2K20 step back, the little pullback move you guys see everyone doing. And you also get a fast side to side. So like I said, use Damian Lillard if you guys are ISO type of build and you guys want that pullback move. Make sure y'all go ahead and put on Damian Lillard. Now the best size of escape package if you guys have an 85 ball handle rating by far is Stephen Curry. This is the best size of escape package in the game if you guys have an 85 ball handle rating. You guys get the Curry slide move and you guys get the hot back move from 2K20, the overpowered one. By far, this is the best size of escape package if you guys have an 85 ball handle rating. And you also get a fast side to side dribble move. So go ahead and put on Stephen Curry if you guys have an 85 ball handle rating. As you guys can see, they did add Kyrie Irving size of escape package and you do need an 85 ball handle for this as well. But in my opinion, it's really not that good. It's really slow and it's just not worth it in my opinion. So like I said, if you guys have an 85 ball handle rating, the best size of escape package to use is Stephen Curry. And now right here, I'm going to be showing you guys
guys a little small beginner dribble tutorial to show you guys how to activate each move so now in order to activate a moving crossover all you guys want to do is walk up the court and then whatever hand the ball is in just go ahead and flick it to the off ball hand so as you guys see the ball is in my right hand i'm gonna go ahead and walk up the court and just flick my right stick to the left side without holding rt and i'll activate a moving crossover like that like i said not a lot of people do crossovers but i just want to show you guys how to activate each move as you guys see the ball is in my right hand i'm gonna just walk up and flick my right stick to the left and it'll activate that moving crossover and now to activate the moving behind the back all you guys want to do is run up the court and whatever hand the ball is in as you guys see the ball is in my left hand all i'm gonna do is run up the court and flick diagonal down right to activate the behind the back on my right stick so I, right here the ball is in my left hand i'm gonna run up flick diagonal down right on the right stick to activate that behind the back move you guys obviously can just combo these moves up with anything you guys want but like i said that is how to activate the behind the back move so now i'm going to show you guys how to activate the moving step back move as you guys see i'm using the jimmy butler one and then all it looks like is this right here you just get that little fast speed boost so i'm going to show you guys how to do it all you guys want to do is run to the side so as you guys see right here the ball is on my left hand i'm just going to run to the left while holding RT and I'm gonna just flick down on my right stick and as you guys can see it will just activate this moving step back it's really easy to do and it's a simple move to do but it gives you a really fast speed boost and I really like it so right here now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a moving hesitation move this is a simple move to do it's just like the moving step back but you just have to go on the side of your stick instead of down so what you guys want to do is run to any side right here I'm gonna run to the left side while holding RT and then flick my right stick to the left and it's gonna do this simple moving hesitation move as you guys can see right here you can do it on either side it's really easy to do and in my opinion it's like it's a good move to do if you guys want to put it in your arsenal you guys can shoot off it if you want to just do whatever you guys want to with it but that is how to do the moving hesitation so right here i'm going to teach you guys how to do your signature size up which is the left right move right here this is what it looks like it's really good to use and like i said this is the jay williams one i'm using i really like this signature size up it gives you a fast left right move and in order to activate this move it's really easy all you guys want to do is have the ball in one hand the ball is going to be in my left hand and i'm going to flick my right stick to the right and i'll get this little move right here and then after that move activate I'm gonna hold RT just to sprint out of it so it'll just look like this right here it's a really easy move to do like I said it gives you a fast left right move your signature size up is really important and it will give you like a good fast move left right left right so that's how you guys activate your signature size up and the last thing I'm going to teach you guys is how to use your size up escape package as you guys can see right here I have on curry size up escape package I'm going to show you guys how to use all your moves in your escape package the first move I want to teach you guys is how to use your left right move in your escape package all the move looks like is just this right here it's, it's just a side to side move and all you guys want to do is have the ball in one hand right here the ball is in my right hand i'm gonna hold rt and then flick my right stick to the left side and just speed boost out of it by holding diagonal left on my left stick so what, what it's gonna look like it's just gonna look like this right here it's a really easy move to do like i say it's just a left right move that's your first move that you're gonna do out of your signature size up and now the next move i'm gonna teach you guys in your size up skate package is your hop back move your hop back move is so easy to do all you guys want to do is hold rt and just flick back on your right stick and you get this hop back move right here if your size up escape allows you to do the hop back move i showed you guys in the video which size up escapes have this hop back move so if it allows you to do the hop back move this is how you do it like i said all you want to do is hold rt and flip back on your right stick and it gives you this hop back move so this is how you do the hop back move and the last move i want to teach you guys is the curry slide like i said you guys do need 85 ball handle rating to get the curry size of escape package all the move looks like is this right here you can't spam it like you did last year but you can still do the move and it's still a really effective move all you guys want to do is have the ball in one of your hands the ball will be in my left hand right here and all i'm gonna do is hold rt and then flick my right stick diagonal down right to the off ball hand and as you guys can see it'll activate this curry slide right here it's really easy to do and i really like this move so this is how you do the curry slide all right guys that is it for the video man i showed you guys the best dribble moves for each ball handle rating and i showed you guys how to do the basics of the dribble moves so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure i go down below smash that like button hit that subscribe button around this road to 3,000 subscribers turn on post notifications if you're new and with that being said man it's been your boy three ball i'm out y'all